Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I kind of wanted to do like a charcuterie haul slash setup. So today is my son's birthday and yesterday was my daughter's birthday and we're gonna have like a birthday brunch if you will, nothing crazy, nothing extravagant, just like a birthday brunch play date with a few, very few friends and like I just didn't want anything, I wasn't gonna do anything at all but I'm like you know what, let me just do like a play date brunch, the kids can play and that'll be that. So I don't know if you guys follow Marina McAvoy, I know charcuterie boards have been around for the longest time but her, she started doing like the whole table, charcuterie table. Um, I don't know who she got it from, but I know it started blowing up and I thought that would be such a great idea for like this brunch. The kids can have like sandwiches, I'm gonna make ham and cheese sliders, uh, a bunch of fruit, and you know, just every kind of picks at it. Cause I know whenever we have a play date brunch, I'll have like, we'll have like the whole table set out and kids just randomly, they'll just pick at like the most random things. So I felt like that would just be appropriate for today's little brunch and uh, I just wanted, I will link Marina McAvoy's Instagram down below. She does have an entire highlight tab. Uh, where you can get tons of inspiration for her own boards. Here's one picture that I'm gonna kind of try to duplicate. It just looks so, so good. I have my brown paper roll here. I didn't buy this, my husband already had it. I know that the dollar store sells um, paper just like this, like craft looking paper for a dollar. It's like a small roll. So that will do, I know, because I used it before. Um, so I just kind of wanted to go through, show you guys what I got. I only shopped at Aldi. I spent about $100 there and then my husband went to BJ's to buy uh, like deli, deli meats, fresh deli, like Deets and Watson delis and smoked salmon and I think that's it. But let me just show you guys what I have. So these are actually the gift bags. Um, I got these from the dollar store and inside I got little... I got these from Aldi as well. I felt like these little muffins would be so appropriate for like this whole brunch situation. And then I also have little, um, you know, healthy sauce pouches, a little juice, and a candy snack. And I felt like it would just be a cute idea for brunch. I found these at Home Goods actually. And I also found these plastic plates. I do plan to reuse them, wash them, reuse them, be careful with them. I feel like they're just this cute little vintage vibe. And these pink ones I just got at the dollar store for kids and like whatever. But I felt like this would be this is such a cute, even though it is for my son as well. And these I got at the dollar store also. They're like these little bowls and I plan to put my dips and stuff in here for the crackers and everything like that. So I got grapes, a bunch of grapes. I feel like that'll really dress it up. Fruit, I'm washing it, waiting for it to drain. Just got a random tomato here. I found this at Aldi and it just sounded really good. They had like a brownie one and then they had this one. It's like a vanilla bean dessert hummus. I've never tried it before, but it'll be interesting to see what it tastes like. It's made out of chickpeas, but it's supposed to be like a dessert hummus, which I thought was interesting. Some spinach artichoke. They do have like some chips and crackers. I have some more chips in the pantry that I gotta get out um, that we already had. Uh, bacon ranch, I'm gonna use these for like little sandwiches. I'm hoping my husband's gonna stop by and grab some croissants. Croissant. Oh no, he almost made me drop my croissant. <laughs> Gets me every time. I got some roasted garlic hummus. We do have some like fire roasted one in the fridge, but I don't want anybody to like die. I don't know if anybody likes spicy. I got a cucumber for some of the uh, little, you know, sandwiches and stuff. This is the deli my husband bought. I have some peanuts, some coconut cashews. I was gonna eat a bunch of almonds and stuff, but I just did, I know kids wouldn't eat that, so I'm just kind of trying to go by what kids will eat and adults. It's just like a brunch. It's not like a full-blown dinner situation. Dried mango, which I absolutely love. These dried cherries are so good. Try them from your Aldi. I eat them like just like that, like a snack. Pretzels, an assortment of crackers, some more crackers. These Hawaiian rolls are, I'm going to make um, ham and cheese sliders, like I said, with like an egg scramble. So it's kind of like a breakfast ham and cheese slider. It's basically gonna be ham, uh, the egg scramble, cheese, and then I'll put it in the oven. And then on top you put like butter, poppy seeds, whatever you want. Some cheeses, obviously. Some dry Italian salami. Italian dry salami. This is the smoked salmon that we usually get from BJ's. It's actually really good, we love it. 
Um, some more cheese right here, you know, just for the crackers and stuff. And like just this easy panini panino tray, which basically has the cheese rolled up inside already. So this is the majority of everything. I'm just gonna, while the kids are at the store with my husband, my daughter's taking a nap, while nobody's here, I'm, oh, I did get bread as well, I forgot. I got like this bread and I plan to slice it and put like either smoked salmon and a cucumber or deli meat and you know, kind of like a whole sandwich sandwich situation for the kids. I do already have like tomatoes and carrots and celery if anything. I'm just trying to buy the bulk. So this basically costs a little over $100 if you include everything from BJ's. Um, and now I'm just gonna set everything up and cut and set it up basically. Never did this before, so it will be interesting. I do also have to, I bought eggs. I wanna steam them because I read if you steam them versus boil them, that it's a lot easier to peel them. I know they have like the egg cookers, but I don't have that much storage to so just be storing random things like that. I have like this little steaming basket. So you basically just put a little bit of water eggs in here close it with a lid and let it steam for about she said I read in line 15 minutes for half a dozen and like about 17 minutes for a dozen so we will see how that goes um, I'll you guys but I do want to make like a like like deviled eggs I feel like that should be so easy so quick and so easy and you could just lay it out and it just works with the whole brunch theme so yeah <laughs> First, I just want to do the egg casserole. Have it ready. Egg casserole. No. The ham and cheese casserole. Got my Hawaiian rolls. You can honestly add whatever you want to this. You could add like fried bell peppers, mushrooms. I'm trying to keep it as kid friendly as possible. That's what we got so far. Scrambled eggs on top, and I'll put more cheese on top, I think, because who doesn't love cheese? I'm sure someone out there can say I don't love cheese. So the nice thing about this is you could probably make it ahead of the eggs are already cooked. You just have to put it in the oven for like 20 minutes or so so the cheese can melt, and you can basically prep this ahead of time, which is the wonderful thing. Once it's done baking, there are many different recipes. Um, you could just pour like a butter mixture over it with poppy seeds and mustard or whatever you fancy. So that's that. Now I'm gonna cut up my Italian bread for like the little bruschetta sandwiches type thing. <laughs> For now, I'll just put them on this plate. And then once the table's getting assembled, it's more of like a peninsula charcuterie board, then I'm gonna disperse them evenly throughout for people to grab. Some of these are like really holy, so holy. So they're gonna be kind of difficult to use. I'm just gonna cut some cucumbers the long way so that you get more cuke for the some of the sandwiches I'm gonna make with like smoked salmon and some of them I'm gonna use this bacon ranch chicken salad from Aldi you can always make your own chicken salad but they actually have pretty decent chicken salad in my opinion There's a really good one, like cranberry almond or something like that, which is my go-to. Thought I'd try something different. Bacon sounded like breakfast, so I picked the bacon one. Like I said, have some smoked salmon here. Let's get this bad boy out. So good. I don't know about you guys, but love me some smoked salmon. My kids love it too, which is awesome. So these are the sandwiches. 
is that I'm gonna use throughout the board. I'm gonna chop some more cucumber, um, just so that I'm gonna lay it out throughout the, the charcuterie board. because it will get the paper wet. Also, if you plan to have a dozen eggs, use more, because some of mine did not pan out. So, account for more in case, you know, some of them just don't look cute or they break or whatever. Fill the deviled eggs, got my dips in the bowls, the trays underneath, especially for the cucumbers since they're so wet. Um, if I had to do this next time, I'd probably double layer the paper and dry out the fruit way ahead of time because it does soak through. This is the end product, you guys. This is it. I'm actually pretty proud of it. Don't mind the trash in the back. This is where the kids are gonna sit right there, but this is it, you guys. I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this because I had fun. Ta -da. May God bless you. 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 Yay! Yay. 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 Yeah, we're gonna cut that one, not this one. This one's like just a smash cake. 
Hi. It's too young. It's too young. Hey guys, so my parents, last people, just left. There's actually still quite a bit left. Everybody just kind of picked and nibbled. There was a lot of stuff. There's just a few people. I'm just gonna go through, clean up, and put like the dips back in, uh, crackers, stuff that's not soggy. You can still use. But yeah, this is just gonna be a quick little clean up. Um, and there are a lot of toys that need to be cleaned up as well. I don't know if I'll do that, but just clean with me. Clean up this hot mess. vacuum everything I'll probably wash the floors later today when the kids are sleeping it's just so much easier and I'll clean up all their toys all the new toys when they're sleeping what I basically did is I took a lot of their old toys that they weren't really playing with that were out in their in the family room and I threw them in the basement I organized all their toys like all the wooden toys I organized all like the infant toys and stuff like that and I swapped them out with these new toys so that they're not overwhelmed with so many toys that then they don't know what to do with themselves and they get bored so easily. So I always love rotating toys and once my kids get older and get to a point where Eloisca's older and they no longer need like those infant toys, then I'm gonna consider donating them, getting rid of them, whatever. For now, let them play. I'm just gonna clean up, basically vacuum, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little charcuterie uh, haul and setup slash party cleanup. Uh, it wasn't really a party, it was like a brunch cleanup. Like I said, I didn't want to do anything crazy, anything big. My daughter's gonna be five this year, so then I actually want to do like a party and invite all my friends and family and probably do something outside because it's like a big deal. She'll remember at first, but it's a big deal too. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Thumbs up if you actually did. Leave some comments down below to interact. I always love when people leave feedback. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching and love you all so very much.